What is up, everybody? I'm so freaking excited for today. You have no idea. We have um, not only an amazing live stream coming up for you guys because we come uh, come to live each and every single Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we're going to be hitting the phones pretty hard today, but today is also my birthday. So I am excited. Um, I, this is what I would love to be doing on my birthday. I know it sounds crazy. We're going to have a lot of fun today, you know, later today, tonight, tomorrow. We're going to have a fun weekend. But right now, it is a beautiful Friday morning, and we're going to hit some phones, right? Like That's what we do, right? We're going to hit the phones. We're going to pound some cold calls. We're going to start trying to make some money, and we're going to show you just how you can do the same, uh, make some cold calls. By the way, check out the description down below. We have a ton of free resources. We have an awesome commercial real estate sales script coming out as well. Hope you guys are excited and uh, energized like I am today. I'm just getting my list loaded up, so give me one minute. Getting my list loaded, getting my list loaded. Okay, I'm excited about this list. I'm excited. Here we go. Okay, let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. We're gonna be cold calling today. Casual Fridays, that is right. Casual Fridays on my birthday. This is this is one of my favorite favorite Fridays. I'm I'm glad it worked out like this. But this is what I want to show you guys. Like, this is exactly what my life is, right? I love what I do. I love making my calls every single Friday without fail. Yesterday I had an awesome night with some um, great friends. We went to go see a show. I'm a big um, big comedy guy. So we went to go see a comedy show. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Ed. Thank you. So we went to go see a comedy show last night. We hung out at the uh, Hard Rock Casino for a few hours. We're, uh, we're actually going to be doing a meetup sometime later this month, early next month. So if you guys are in Miami, we're going to be doing a meetup in Miami. If you guys are in New Jersey, we're going to be doing a meetup in New Jersey. Uh, Hello. Hi, Yolanda. Yes. Yeah. Hi, uh, my name is Henry Osconi about the property you have on Harding Highway in Newfield. How are you doing? Probably on Harding Highway uh, in Newfield, Jersey. I don't have any property. Got it. Okay. Well, listen. I guess I have the wrong. I have the wrong number. No worries at all. Okay. all right. Have a great day. Thank you so much. All right. We'll take it with the wrong number to kick things off. Message. When you have finished recording, you may have. All right, we'll keep it rocking. What is it, guys? We got some notes here. Again, listen, we come to you live each and every single Friday, and today happens to be my birthday. And yes, I am cold calling commercial real estate. Um, I'm cold calling a large uh, uh, mixed list. We're calling retail and industrial in Southern New Jersey. Uh, that's what I'm calling right now. So we're gonna try to see what kind of leads I can pull off today. All right, right, we're gonna try to get some great leads on my birthday. Let's uh, let's uh, knock on some wood and see if we can get some good calls for you. Um, let's see. When someone wants an offer immediately over the phone, do I give one? Hundred percent, I will give one. Just to, I just need some information. Typically, I'll be like, listen, like uh, they're like, all right, make me an offer. I'm like, listen, fantastic. Leave a message after the tone. In order to get you the best offer possible, I just need a few pieces of information. Do you have two minutes? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, great. Well, can you know? Can you share with me some uh, income numbers? Right? Do you have some financials you'd be willing to share with me? Yes. We go over, you know, uh, there's a lot of questions, by the way, in the new and improved script book, which is coming out, I believe this week. I'm so freaking excited. Um, this coming week, we're going to be launching our new and improved commercial real estate only script book. And it is freaking incredible. You guys are going to love it. I promise. Good morning, ladies. Yeah, good morning. I was looking for Will Ferrell. Uh, junior or the third? Um, the third, possibly. Uh, I was calling about a property he owns in uh, Pitter Town. Well, neither one of them are here. <laughs> Got it. Okay. When's a better time for me to call back? I'll, I'll uh, can call back maybe early next week. Uh, yeah, that would, that would be good. Great. I'll schedule a call. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Bye. -bye. All right. Bye. Remember, guys. Like those situations, not a lot you can do. Let's get some thumbs up, by the way, for my birthday. It is my 29th birthday. Thank you, Dan. I appreciate it. Let's get to 20 likes. It is my 29th birthday. Let's try to get some likes going on. We're making some cold calls on my birthday in beautiful Miami, Florida, right now. I uh, just saw the $18 million listing by one of my students. Thank you. He actually, um, he, he's crushing it. Dan is crushing it. Absolutely crushing it. Uh, you're in Miami. Zoom in. Awesome. Hey, Vincent. Hello. I'm sorry, Ms. Botto. Hello. What? Um, my name is Henry. I was looking for Vinny. Vinny Botto or yes. Vincent works here? No, Botto. He works down at the plant. Got it. Is there a better time I should call back, or is there a better phone number I should be calling? Um, hold on. Look on 
numbers. <laughs> all good, all good. Um, the plant. It's eight five six. Hold on one second. One second. I'm sorry, my pen stopped working. Go for it. Eight five six. Four two three. Yep. Thirty seven hundred. All right. Let me give him a call. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Bye -bye. Have a great day. On to the next. Um, that is a no contact. Because what I, I'd like to, you know, make sure that you're in Miami. Great. We actually we're gonna we're gonna have a uh, meetup group. We're gonna have a meetup later this month in Miami, and then early November we're gonna do a meetup in New Jersey. Hello. Hey, Victor. Yeah. Hey, Victor, my name's Henry. I was calling about your building on Delcy Drive. How you doing? Yeah, good. Fantastic. Well, listen, I'll keep it short and sweet for you. I'm a local investor in town, and uh, I'm going through a 1031 exchange and need to move some money for tax purposes. And I was just curious if you'd be totally against mm -hmm. selling the property. Um, if I what? If you'd be totally against selling the property. No, I wouldn't be totally against it, but there ain't no way you're going to offer anything that I want. So it's probably going to be a waste of time. All right. Well, hold See, on. I mean, if any, if, because there's quite a few of you guys that call and you don't do the research to know that it's a tattoo shop downstairs and an apartment upstairs. Yep. Yeah, I saw so that it was, a, it was a two and it, tattoo. I saw it was a two, a two unit building on a decent sized piece of property, right? Yeah. So why? Why would I ever sell it? Because where where am I even going to find something where I could tattoo down there and live upstairs again on Delcy Drive like this? You know what I mean? Not not for a really good price. I've been here for, for twenty years. You know? Yeah, I mean, listen. So my my intention is not to um, my intention is not to occupy the property, right? My intention is just to buy a property mm -hmm. and rent it out. So like, you can actually continue doing exactly what you are doing today. With you know, with no interruptions, except you just would get a nice lump sum of cash um, and be able to continue doing what you're doing, right? So, right. at what price do you feel it would have to be near in order to make sense of selling the property? Five hundred grand. Five hundred thousand. Okay. And just to be super clear, mm -hmm. because like I said, that's what I mean. That's like way, way, way above market. But why would I sell for anything less? No, I listen. I hear you, and I'm not begging you to sell it for any less. But I am curious, though, between sure, you and I, sure. um, just to make sure I have an understanding, is that obviously in order to sell this, you, you obviously have to get a good enough price to make sense of the, the the sale. I am curious, though, if we could get you a decent number on the property, would you be flexible in regards to how much money in rent you would pay, because that would obviously support the higher price. If I were to sell it, I wouldn't rent it because uh, I pay nine hundred a month in mortgage, yeah. and there ain't no way rent would be uh, you know nine hundred a month. Pro probably wouldn't be nine hundred a month. Really big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, small apartments don't even go for that, you yeah. know. And this is uh, two two places, you know. Yeah. Uh, honestly, if I were to sell it, I would uh, end up moving out of New Jersey. You'd be moving out of New Jersey. Well, listen. First off, I don't blame you for wanting yeah. to move out of New Jersey. Two, I'm going to try to run some numbers here and try to see how close to that magic number that we discussed uh, I can get to. What is, because obviously we're, it sounds like we're talking on your cell phone. Just real quick, I want to clarify. What is the best email for you? Uh, this way, if I have an offer, I at least can put it in front of you. Yep. Nice and easy. Okay, great. What I'll do here is that... Um, I will shoot you a text with my contact information uh, in the next few minutes, just so you have it. And let's uh, let's see if I can make something happen. If not, listen, I'm not here to you know change your life. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. All right. Well, listen, I All appreciate right, your time today. Enjoy the weekend. And we'll talk soon. Okay. Thanks. Thank you so All much. Right. Have a good one. Bye bye. So what I'll do here is that I'm going to run some numbers. Um, listen, we made a call. I got some details, right? Tiny little itty bitty two uh, unit commercial property. Okay. Whether it's two units, 20 units or 200 units, this is how you'd analyze the deal. He tells me he wants 500 K. Give me a second. Just taking some notes. He wants 500 K. Then what I'm going to say is occupies the apartment upstairs. And what I'm going to say to him is like, listen, when we get back, and I'm going to run some numbers and see exactly what this thing could be worth. It's only 2,000 square feet. 
it's probably only going to be worth maybe 200 to 250 grand, maybe, honestly. Um, but the way we'd structure it is that like, listen, even if it's only worth 200 to 250,000 bucks, the reason why, like, I, I want to pick and choose my battles. That was a good conversation. I'm going to let it take the weekend so you can actually see that I, I'm actually working on trying to come up with a number. You know what I mean? Like I want to, it has to, you want to make sure that this story makes sense, right? Don't get me wrong. There's been many occasions where I'll make an offer on the first call. However, what I try to do is that I feel like it has a higher conversion ratio when I call back the next day or the day after, and I try to work the deal a little bit. So anyways, um, decent lead. I mean, I don't think it's a great lead, but we'll take it. That is a decent lead. Um, just mixed use, mixed use, uh, one apartment, one commercial space. And it's probably a development deal, honestly, right? It's probably a development deal. Hey, Vasios. Please enter the number. 32. Again. All right, let's see if we can get number. through this. By the way, Thank let's give this some thumbs up. Today's my birthday, my 29th birthday, October 13th. Let's give this some thumbs up. Let's see if we can smash 30 likes today. I appreciate you guys a lot. It's like my birthday wishes. I appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, put in the comment section down below. You can treat this like a free cold calling, uh, a free coaching session. All right, treat it like a free coaching session. Anything you need support with. I am here for you. Again, we're going to be hosting a meetup later this. Thank you so much, Long. I appreciate it very much. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Uh, all right, nobody home. We're going to keep it going. What market am I in? Um, 90 plus percent of my business right now is New Jersey. Um, the other 10% is all over the country. I actually live in, and thank you for the happy birthday wishes. I appreciate it. Uh, I now live in Miami. We're building a team in Miami, Florida to start working throughout the entire state of Florida. Hey, Vinny. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hi. I'm sorry. I was looking for Vincent. Yeah. Who's speaking? Yeah. Hi. My name is Henry. I was calling you about the property you have on Kings Highway in Swedesboro. How are you doing? To, sir. Again, I might have the wrong number. I was looking for Mr. Botto. Well, I'm one of the brothers. Got it. Okay. Well, listen, uh, I, again, my name is Henry. I, I was actually calling in regards to the property on Kings Highway because I'm a local investor here in town and uh, I'm going through a 1031 exchange because I had sold off a few of my other properties and I'm looking to move some money for tax purposes. So I was curious if you'd be totally against selling the building on Kings Highway. Well, we have a few... Um things going on at the time, you can call down the market and speak to the brothers Henry and Robert down there. All right. Well, it sounds like my name's Henry. I, I guess I get along with Henry pretty well. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they're there now. Probably best call after 12 today. Okay. And then just to clarify, it sounds like you guys also occupy the building. Is that accurate? Yes, we do. We uh, Our parents bought it back in 64. Oh, okay. Properties. Wonderful. That's wonderful. So you've been running the business out of there for quite some time, it sounds like. Yes, sir. Got it. Uh, and I mean, do you occupy 100% of the building or is it just a portion? 100%. Okay, wonderful. 100%. Okay, wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, and then um, just to clarify here, I mean, what kind of business I do mean, you guys so, You know, for transparency, I mean, you know, do you, are you looking for, because we've been soliciting, I mean, we're getting calls like this all the time. Oh, I'm sure. And, yeah, the numbers are, are over, I'm going to say, over $3 million. Is what it, it pays for. Yeah. The last time we did it, which was back in 21. Okay. And how, how big is the building? Just roughly? I mean, I'm looking online and I see a bunch of different numbers. Uh, I'm going to say the market probably total around 20,000. 20,000 20, square feet. Okay. So you're looking for around yeah, the $3 I million. So. I believe so. I don't have any front of me. No, it's all right. Listen, I, I'm not going to hold you to anything. And it's obviously a multi story building. Is that accurate? So it's like two floors here? Yep. Got it. Office is on the second floor. Got it. So uh, again, you you occupy the market, but I mean, do you also occupy some of that office space? Well, we own the whole building, the restaurant, market. No, of course. Room. Yeah, I mean, probably best if you went in there. Yeah. Instead of making a phone call, since no, you're local. Course. Yeah, sure, sure. I can do that. Yeah, I might I might end up having to yeah. be next week. I just uh, um, I'm away uh, I'm away this weekend, but uh. Yeah, I yeah to make a phone call and try to you know. 
I'm going to tell you right now, that's not, you're going to get the phone hung up on you. <laughs> I understand. I understand. You're better off popping over there and seeing uh, Robert or Henry after lunch. I can we're understand. Going we're closed this Monday. Got it. Got it. Okay. Well, listen, I could definitely okay. do that. Um, listen, I pre- again, you, uh, your first name was what? I'm Dominic. Dominic. Well, again, my name is Henry. Uh, is this a good number to call you back at? No, no. The what? number at the market is different. Uh, sort of. Well, as I say, what's what's the best number to call you directly back at this way? Like, I don't have to keep trying to call you. Yeah. All right. Got it. Is there an, is there a number that I can just? I, I just want to have a number at least that we can call. Is there an email that at least you and I can discuss on? No, I def I can definitely pop in there. That's not that's not a problem. All right. Thank you. I appreciate your time, Dominic. Thank you. All right, listen, this one's interesting. This is actually a fairly interesting deal. Okay, one minute. Let me take let me take my notes. You guys know how this works. Give me a minute. All right, so what's gonna happen here is very interesting. Let me explain. So this this property, this property, um, good size mixed use deal right in downtown. The only challenge is that so it's funny because like in this area of New Jersey, the numbers are very skewed. Okay. So I actually like this property very, very much because. On a, he's already telling me a number of around three million bucks, right? He tells me three million dollars, and uh, at three million, this property looks like it could actually be a decent price because I'm looking at the total square footage on on Google Maps. You can actually um, you can measure the building, so the building looks like it's around eighteen and nineteen thousand square feet um, on the bottom floor, and then the top floor. I'm measuring it right now, so bear with me. And the top floor looks like it's an additional. Let me try to move these little measurements. The top floor looks like another 13,000 square feet. So this building, technically, okay, is around 18, 19, let's call it 18, I'm rounding. 18,000, rounding down to be conservative. 18,000 square feet on the bottom floor. And then the second floor, is 13,000 feet, which is office, which is very interesting because that means the building, we do some calculations, the building here, right, is 31,000 square feet. And they said they wanted $3 million. So the, what we look for is a very, very good price on an intrinsic value, okay? Uh, 31,000 feet based off an intrinsic value. However, what's important to pay attention to is that when you have a two-story building versus a one-story building, the second floor, when it specifically comes to what's on the second floor, okay? Like if you have two-story buildings, like I'll give you an example. Industrial, you have a two-story warehouse. It's not worth as much as at the same – like if you have a 20,000-square-foot a warehouse, but it's 10,000 per floor because it's two floors, right? Or if um, you have a 30,000-square-foot warehouse because it's three floors, 10,000 each, is not worth as much money as a 20,000 or a 30,000-square-foot one-story industrial building, okay? However, in this case, it is a mixed-use Upstairs office, which is, I mean, this is not a great office area, to be honest with you. I probably, I would not want to own office personally here. However, um, this guy wants 3 million bucks. It actually seems like a pretty interesting intrinsic value because I want to buy a cheap intrinsic value deal, right? 3 million bucks. What's 3 million? Or slash appraised for 3 million. By the way, let's give it some, let's give this some thumbs up. Today's my birthday. We had an awesome phone call. Good lead. By the way, if you haven't checked out our script book, make sure you download the script book if you want to know exactly what to say. We're actually coming out with a brand new commercial real estate script book, which is going to be freaking incredible within the next seven to 10 days. You guys are going to freaking love it, right? It's going to be awesome. Uh, so this is a mixed use retail on bottom floor. I'm just taking some notes here. And office on second floor. Okay, about 31K square feet. And we're going to keep it going. That was a nice call. All right. In regards to some of – yeah, let's get some thumbs up for the birthdays. Thank you, Aaron. I appreciate you a lot. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, so for today, let's keep this rocking. Let's keep this rocking. I got all my notes here. I just want to make sure I have the right phone numbers. Give me a minute. This is – I'm taking out every phone number they had here. Thank you for the birthday wishes, everyone. I appreciate that. Listen, this is what I try to tell you guys. No matter what, I'm going to make my calls today. I commit. I commit to what I say I'm going to do, right? I'm making calls every Friday. I don't care if it's my birthday. It doesn't matter. We're going to make some calls today. I actually flew out some of my team members. Good for you. Thank you. Thank you for the birthday wishes. By the way, real quick, how did you get your student to get that listing? Did he provide – did I provide the lead? No, I did not provide the lead. He was cold calling. And um, 
he's like, hey, I have this lead that, you know, they want a little bit too much money. It doesn't really make sense for an investor. What do you think I should do with it? I was like, pitch an exclusive listing. He's like, what do I say? I was like, here's your script. And boom, 20-year-old guy working on an $18 million exclusive listing. That's what I'm freaking talking about. So give me one minute. I'm just grabbing the address here and we're good to go. All right, let's let's continue making these calls. By the way, drop some comments down below. Any questions you might have whatsoever, free coaching, free coaching. Today's my birthday, so I want to be super generous. Maybe I'll be giving away some free coaching sessions. Maybe we'll give away some free coaching sessions, some one-on-one -on -one time with me for my birthday. Hey, Vicios. Hello. Hello. I'm sorry, I was looking for Bill. My name is Henry. I was calling you about the property I have on Brace Road. How you doing? Good. All right, fantastic. Well, the reason for the phone call is that uh, I'm a local investor here in town, and uh, I just sold off a few properties, and I'm going through a 1031 exchange, and I was curious if you'd be totally against selling the property. Listen, I'm not. Up, it's not up for sale, but everything's for sale for the right number, so we can leave I, it at that. Okay. You know I, so, I, I definitely understand so, that. I mean, it, it sounds like I'm catching so, a busy like, job. If you have a number that you're interested in, you can throw it at me, and I can either answer you or not answer you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, it sounds like I'm catching it at a busy time. I mean, do you, it sounds like uh, I'm also imagining you uh, run the business on the property, correct? You run the restaurant? Yes. Got it. Okay. I mean, have you ever received an offer in the past that you were like, ooh, maybe if I got that offer again, I would consider it? I can't tell you yes or no. I don't say yeah, I got you. Who you are, you're talking to me on the phone. I can't talk to you that way. Gotcha. I have no idea. But if I stop by, if I stop by and I shook her, I'm talking to you straight as it is. You can, you can stop by to see me at my at my flagship company. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. What's what's the flagship company? I'm in Deptford, New Jersey. Deptford. Okay. Yeah. When, when I'm definitely in the area, I can definitely stop by. No problem. Um, love to do that. I'm guessing this is your direct line to give you a call back, correct? Yes. How'd you get my number? I was just going off the public tax records. Well, what I'll do, Bill, is I have your I have your cell here. I'll keep I'll keep in touch. Let me see if I can run some numbers and uh, I can put something in front of you. Thank you. I appreciate you a lot. Have a good one, Bill. Bye bye. Bye. So the the reason, by the way, guys, that I'm not diving into that deal is because I don't like restaurants. I actually dislike restaurants strongly, personally, just because like my my clients don't want restaurants and I, every every single restaurant, okay, every single restaurant I've ever tried to sell. They always want way too much money. They value their business way too high. And it never, it just never is a good deal. All right. And like, and the building's 4,000 square feet. You know what I mean? It's like the building, the building's 4,000 square feet. What am I going to do about it? It just, you're not going to make any money. I, I mean, personally, I, that's the way I think. Like, Henry, you're not going to make any money. Just not worth it for me. Not worth it for me. I'm 18, man. Been doing wholesale deals, building my way into commercial real estate. I love that. Good for you, my friend. Good for you. That's awesome. However I can support you, just let me know. Good for you, my friend. We're going to try to get some more awesome live cold calls. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. We're going to keep it rocking. We're 17 dials in. We got two interesting leads. Two very interesting leads. One was one was uh, probably a little bit better than the other. <laughs> Thank you for the likes. I appreciate that, guys. It is my birthday, my 29th birthday. So can we get the 29 likes for my 29th birthday? Can we do that? Helps the algorithm. Coming to you live each and every single Friday, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. minimum, each and every single Friday, Eastern time. 10, 10 to 11 a.m. minimum. Sometimes I go as long as 12 o'clock, so one to two hours every single Friday. Zero. Uh, you know, live cold calling, commercial real estate, just to show you that you guys can do the same. Hey, Tom. We're unable to catch the phone at this time. I want to show you that, like, it doesn't. It's not complicated, right? Everyone here can pull the list, right? Everyone here can buy the same software. Everyone here can get a dialer. Everyone here can use the same sales script that I have, and you can get the same result. That's it. Hey, Tom. Thank you. Or not. Absolutely. Or not. Right, because you can get Reonomy or CoStar, you can get Mojo Dialer, right? You can get. By, by the way, I'm not trying to sell you anything. You, you can get the softwares or not. I don't care. I don't make any money. Uh, you do it or not, right? You can get the same softwares that I have. I'm giving you my sales script, right? I'm giving you the exact words that I say. Teresa. Have a blessed day. Oh, thank you. 
I appreciate that. Thank you for a blessed day. I'll take a blessed day. Um, right? I give you everything. I'll give you everything. I'll give you absolutely everything. All you got to do is pick up the phone and do the work every day, hour, two, three, four, five, eight, ten hours a day, and you will also get a result. Okay. You too can also make great money selling real estate, pick up the phones, and pound away. Let's see what magic we can make happen today. I would love to try to negotiate a deal. I'd love to negotiate a deal live with you guys. If I can do that, that would be awesome. Again, guys, we're going to try to do you know at least 40 to 45 minutes of cold calling. What filters do I use on Reonomy? I'm trying to do a video on Reonomy. Um, it's just very complicated because YouTube has laws when it comes to like showing public information, contact info, all kind of stuff. So it's like, I'm like, that's the whole software. <laughs> so it's actually not for, it's not that easy. But the filtering, okay, here you go. What you're going to do is number one, number one, you always want to make sure that you're pulling a list of around maybe 300 minimum, okay? Maybe 250 minimum, okay? Good for you, Elvis. Good for you. So what you do is you have around a 300 person minimum, a 300 property minimum. Okay, so think about it in your head. Okay, so you want to be narrowing the search until you have around a 300 minimum because you want to have enough of a specific criteria. Oh, my dog's with me. Okay, so that's one 300 minimum contacts in your list. Okay, second thing you're going to do is that you're going to sort the list. Four, five, you're going to six, sort the list two. by individuals who have not sold their property within the last minimum five years. I'd recommend 10 years. Okay. If you have not traded, the property is not traded. The property is not sold within the last minimum five. I'd recommend 10 years. Okay. Depends on your local area. Please leave a message for us. Right. Like if you need to scale that up or down, that's okay. Right. So minimum five years has not sold. I would recommend 10. Second thing. Okay. So uh, sorted by a specific asset class. Only call multifamilies at a time or retail at a time or industrial properties at one at a time. Okay. Choose one asset class at a time until. You will feel like you're in a very seasoned place where you can call multiple different asset classes like I'm doing right now and know how to speak the language. Because hypothetically, if you only been call multifamilies and you start calling industrial and you're like asking questions that make you sound stupid, it won't work out. Okay? Choose one asset class. Has not sold in the last five or 10 years? Minimum. Okay? One asset class. Choose multifamily, retail, industrial, you name it. Okay? One asset class. Next piece. Hey, Sanjay. Or not. Nobody's home. Uh, next piece is you're going to want to do by county. Okay. You're going to sort it by county. Okay. But remember, you want to have 300 properties. So if you're sorting properties and like you do the whole state and you only have, you know, 900, let's say you have 900 multifamily properties. Let's show you multifamily as an example. I'm not a fan of sorting by units, by the way. Okay. I want to sort by town. Reonomy, you sort by the uh, ex uh, how expensive the taxes are. Okay. You sort by taxes. Right? If you want to do larger properties, do a minimum taxes of 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, whatever you're going to do. Okay, don't ever sort by units. Okay, because Rionomy is weird, and all of a sudden, like some properties, a lot of properties don't actually have the, the exact unit count that's accurate. So, you're going to want to make sure that you, um, you don't do by units, you do by tax amount. Okay, annual tax amount. So, you can sort that by a minimum of 10 or 20,000. Hello, yeah, hi. I'm sorry, I was looking for Ron, please. Who's this? My name is Henry. I was, uh, I guess this is Miss Concordia. No, no, I'm, I'm someone who works here. What, okay, what, wonderful. Who are, who's like I said, my name is Henry. I'm a local investor here in town, and I was looking for Ron to talk to him about one of his properties in the area. I don't think he's interested in selling anything. So. Well, I mean, listen, I, I, whether he is or he is not, I'd love to chat with him. And if he, because uh, I have a, a fantastic offer I wanted to talk to him about. I just figured I'd let him make the decision if it's you know something he'd even consider. All right, he's, he's excuse me, he's outside right now. But let me take your name and number down, and he can get back if he's interested. What's your name? Sure, my name is Henry H E N R Y. Right, and my cell phone number okay. is nine zero eight two one six six five three two. Okay. And he can, is there a better time that you feel like I should call back if, um, I know you're taking a voicemail, but. No, nah, because you never know. Sometimes he's out, sometimes he's doing an estimate. I, I get it. Yeah, I know, I know Ron's a busy yeah. guy. I understand. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. listen, yeah, he so, can call I mean, me back on my cell anytime. Do you know him personally? You've talked to him before? Uh, no, I've talked to him before, but not, I don't know him personally. I mean, we've talked on the phone before, but that was it. Okay. Well, is your last name Ivan to 
asking, or is that just the caller ID? No, that is accurate. That is accurate. Okay. All right. Well, listen, I, I, I just told Henry Paul he might be saying who's Henry. Yeah, he's probably okay, going to say so who's Henry. It's okay. Henry. Yep. Yeah, right. So that's why I wanted to put the last name. And I'm just going to tell him you're interested. I mean, um, you want to talk to him about uh, one of his properties. Correct. Exactly. Yep. Well, listen, you've been you've been wonderful. Yeah, I appreciate you a lot. And then hopefully I'll hear from him shortly. Okay. Thank I'll you so much. You You're the best. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. You got to warm up. You got to warm up to the freaking, um, to the, uh, the gatekeepers. You got to warm up to the gatekeepers. That's how it is, right? You got to warm up to them. It's like you're in jail and you got to befriend the police, right? Hey, Ron. Nobody home. All right. So Elvis, let's dive back into this. Then you're going to sort by counties. Okay. What we do is that we try to do uh, enough counties to stack enough properties in the list that the list would be lucrative, right? So it's like if I pull a list and I only have 114 properties in it, and then I'm only going to get phone numbers for 50 of them, right? It's like it's too small of a list, right? If I'm dialing through that, I'm already at 44 dials, and it's only been freaking 29 and a half minutes, <laughs> All right? That doesn't make any sense. But what you'll do is that you're going to want to build a list of a minimum like three, 400 people because you're probably going to get at least half, maybe 60, 70% of the phone numbers right? Um, or maybe 30 or 40% of the phone numbers, it just depends on the list you're pulling, right? So that's why I like to say you want to have a decent sized list and you're going to want to expand your geographic. So what most people make the mistake of doing is that they live in X city. They live in X city, anywhere in the country or in the world. Okay. They pull a list and they only prospect their city. I'm like, that doesn't make any freaking sense. Cause I'm just curious if somebody wanted to sell a 20 freaking million dollar deal, 42 minutes away, you know, two cities away, would you not sell the property? I would freaking sell the property. Come on, right? So how long has cold calling been a part of my prospecting strategy? And what are my thoughts on in-person canvassing? Okay, I'd say it like this. Cold calling has been a part of my... Please leave your name and phone <laughs> number. Cold calling has been a part of my strategy for nearly 10 years, Right. Uh, I'd say 90% of the last 10 years, it's been my strategy. So for, for as long as I can nearly remember, right, except for like maybe my first year in the business, um, I've been a fanatic when it comes to cold calling. By the way, I hated it. <laughs> my first mentor told me to make cold calls and I told her that she was crazy and I did not want to make them. And I was terrified to make cold calls. I didn't know what to say. Even with the sales script, I was terrified. And I literally just said, I'm going to make 10 calls a day. I'm going to get 10 no's a day. That's just sorry. I, got, I said, I would make 10, I would get 10 no's a day. Right. And obviously now we do a lot more, but that was hand dialing. I was freaking hand dialing. Um, but it's been a lot. No, what are my thoughts of in person? My, my, my true philosophy when it comes to uh, prospecting in general is that from 8 a.m. to 12 noon or one o'clock ish, depending on your pipeline, pick up the phone and start dialing. I don't care what you do after that. Not, I mean, I do. And I can tell you what I would do. But if you crush the morning and you get a lot of leads, like, listen, I am, I don't know what's accurate here, but I'm 30, 30, like, I know for a fact, I've been on my phone right now for what, 31 and a half minutes, right? Almost 32 minutes. Okay. I've gotten two leads, two leads in 31 and a half minutes. I don't think you can do that in person. I just don't think that. I, I don't think so. I, I've made calls for three hours and I've gotten 15 leads in three hours. I don't think you can do that in person. And I'm saying leads in which people... To connect to. I'm saying people who are possibly open to selling their properties, right? Like, I don't think you can do that in person. Now, don't get me wrong. Do I think in person is awesome and I think it's lucrative? And do I think you can make money doing in person prospecting? 100%. I am in agreement. However, if I'm just talking about, like, you know, uh, in order of what I would do, listen, how else can I? I'm in Miami right now. I'm in Miami right now with a beautiful view of the water. OK, and I am pro and I'm not just saying that to be an ass. I'm saying that in the sense where like I can be in a place that I feel so good living. Right. I love living here. I enjoy it. my my fiance is happy. I'm you know in a beautiful area. OK, I can enjoy my life on that aspect. And I am prospecting properties in New Jersey right now. OK, to sell that I never see in person. Isn't that awesome? I can't do that in person. But what I can do is that I can prospect with my feet up. Right. I put my feet up. I got my dog next to me. Right which I love very much, right? And again, listen, today's my birthday, right? Today is my birthday. It's my 29th birthday. 
right? I always, uh, these are big days for me to reflect. It's my 29th birthday. Let's get some likes for my birthday, please. I appreciate you guys a lot. It means the world to me. I take the love that way. But listen, it's like, I can, I can sit here sipping my ice cold Chagachino, my, my mushroom coffee, right? I can have my mushroom coffee, my dog, relax, right? Thank you for the birthday wishes, guys. Thank you so much. It means the world. I appreciate you so much, right? It means the world. But like, that's why I'm like, listen, you just can't beat it. Call has been forwarded to voicemail. You can't beat it, right? Hanging out, enjoying my life, calling into, you know, New Jersey from Miami. Come on now. It's the best. It's the best. Plus, I love to travel, right? So cold calling is just a great philosophy. And you're literally saying almost the same thing, right? Whether you're in person or over the phone. And I think you can, you know, you have a lot more scalability on the phones, right? Not as much scale. Because think about it. If, you, if I told you, like, because my average sales guy makes 400 plus calls a day, right? We make average 400 plus calls a day. Thank you for the love, guys. Thank you for the love. Um, Hello. Yay, yeah, Ray. Yeah. Yeah, hi, Ray. My name is Henry. I was calling you about the building you have on Route 38 uh, in Mount Laurel. I calls that I'm a local investor in town, and uh, I just moved. Uh, I just sold off a property locally, and I'm looking to move some more for tax purposes before the end of the year. And I was curious if you'd be totally against selling the building. Totally against. Totally against we're not, it. We're not, uh, yeah. Gotcha. Well, My listen. Is- I appreciate the candor. <laughs> I, pre- I appreciate the transparency a yeah. lot. Do you have any other properties you'd be possibly open to hearing an offer on? No, not at this point. No. Okay. okay. Yeah. I mean, are you looking for more liquor stores or is this is just the only property you want? No, no. I'm 85 years old and I don't think I need any more properties. Well, listen, Ray, okay. God bless what you've created in your life. That's amazing. I mean, is there, did you plan on doing a trust and giving them to your kids next or what was the game plan? Yeah, that's, that's, Everything for my kids. Well, listen, I okay. um, that's amazing. I appreciate what you're doing for your family, and uh, I, you know, have a great rest of your day and enjoy the weekend. You too. Take care, young man. Bye-bye. Thank you. Take care. I appreciate that. Good blessing. What I'm going to do though is that I'm going to call this guy in six months. <laughs> I'm going to call this guy in six months, and I'm going to check in on him and see how Mr. Ray is doing. Okay. Thank you guys for tuning in every single Friday. I come to you live. I'm doing commercial real estate, cold calling. I'm on the dialer. I'm pulling lists. I'm prospecting the list. You hear exactly what I'm saying so that you guys can do the same thing too. Each and every single Friday, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. minimum. Sheila, hello. My name is Henry. I was looking for Ralph, please. Well, Sheila, I guess I might have the wrong number, and I apologize for that. Okay. No All worries. Right. Have That's a wonderful fine. day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, let's answer some of your questions. Happy birthday, my friend. Would you be totally? Uh, would you totally advise against going after offices here in Miami? Some good activity. Listen, I'm a fanatic about going after what is moving. Okay, so if office is moving here in Miami, right, in a lot of it, because like this is what you do, right? You're going to understand what market to go after. You look at what has sold in the last six months, okay? You look at what has sold in the last six months, and you analyze the asset class volume, okay? Because some asset classes are going to have, like, well, I want to go after the large majority of, of right? So, so what I want to do is that I want to look at the last six months, right? All these different, I'm going to look at how many sold industrial in this county, retail, office, uh, multifamily, and you're going to see which one. Okay, which one of those asset classes has traded the most? Okay, in your area, and maybe even in your state. I mean, it depends, right? I mean, because every area is different, right? Miami is going to be very different, you know, uh, ecosystem. Hello. Yeah, hey, Paul. Yeah. Yeah, hey, Paul. My name is Henry. Uh, I was calling you about your property on East Moss Mill. How you doing? Fantastic to hear. Well, listen, I'll keep it short and sweet for you. I'm a local investor here in town, and I was looking for a couple other mobile home park locations uh, for uh, trying to move some money for tax purposes. So I was just curious if you'd be totally against selling your property. Um, yeah, not at this time. Not at this time. Do you have any other locations that you might consider selling? Um, no, I do not. Nothing at all. Okay, well, listen, I appreciate your time, Paul. Have a great rest of your day. We're gonna keep it going. By the way, for the for the purposes of this live calling session, I am um, I am not gonna keep pushing for buyers and all that kind of stuff. I just I'm not gonna do that. 
Hey, Paul. Please leave your message for... Every phone call, I will go then after a buy. You know, again, I'll go after a buyer lead. I'll go after an exclusive, all kind of stuff. For this, I want to get some good live seller calls. That's the purpose of this for me. Um, yeah, so anyways, so each ecosystem, right? Each city has its own ecosystem. Miami might be crushing it with office space, but three towns over might suck, right? So like you really need to know exactly what you, you know, you need to know what your location is, right? It's like you need to know what to be prospecting in your location here. Okay. So um, let's see here. You got some more questions. You got some more questions. Let's give it some thumbs up, by the way, guys, for my birthday. To my, today's my 29th birthday. If you have not liked the live stream, please for, uh, please make sure you do so. I'm going to be going live for another 20 minutes or so. I'm excited. I got a lot of people flying in today for my birthday, so I'm excited. Um, real quick, let's answer some of these questions. Hello. Yeah, hey, uh, Parole. Yes. Yeah. yeah, my name is Henry. I was calling you about the building you have on Whitehorse Pike. How you doing? Uh, I, I'm okay. Uh, can, can you call back after hour? I, I can't talk now. Gotcha. Uh, what time would be best for you? Uh, like uh, after twelve thirty one. After twelve thirty or one o'clock. You got it. I'll give you a call then. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Take a note. Cool. All right. So I'm in North Carolina. I do cold calls from nine to five. I need to break it down so I don't get tired of it. What do you think? Good use of my time. hundred percent. Elvis, listen, my philosophy with cold calling is that you do it from 8 a.m. to 12 or one o'clock. Then you do some follow up, right? Eat your lunch, hang out. There is no one available. To right. Your Eat your lunch, hang out, do, your, do, do a few other tasks that definitely have to be done today. Make sure you're moving the deal along. Um, right. You want to make sure you're doing that. And then um, in the later in the day, if you don't have appointments, if you don't have deals to pitch, get back on the phones, right? Like if you don't have deals that you could be pitching out right now, right. To go make some money. That's a problem. Hey, Norm. Yeah. Norm, my name is Henry. I was calling you about your building on Colonial Lane. How you doing? I don't have a building on Colonial Lane. I might have the wrong number. Uh, enjoy the weekend, my friend. Sorry about that. Thank you. Yeah, bye. Bye. Right. So it's like if you have if you don't have good deals to pitch out right now, which I stress to my team every freaking day, if you do not have good deals that are easy to sell because they're great prices and they like you found motivated sellers. I reach Neil. If you do not have that, go find them every day. OK, you better have a long laundry list of those types of people. OK, so and I look, I think it's always a great use of time to be on the phones. Um, are you actively looking to make a 1031 exchange or am I looking to get a listing? I'm looking to buy a property. That is my main priority. I want to buy a property, right? My, my focus is like, I am, my focus is like, I want to pre-negotiate a deal so I can get my buyer to buy it or me to buy it. Okay. I don't care who buys it. I mean, if it's a great deal, I'll, I want to buy it. Right. Um, Hey, Naresh. Nobody home. Right. Yeah, I, I'm as in like I'm not looking to um, I don't push to list properties if that makes sense. Like that's the second or tertiary objective. The objective first is to find the motivated sellers to pre-negotiate a deal um, with them to see what makes sense, right? So um, the 1031 exchanges, like I just have a lot of clients who are going through 1031 exchanges, so I can you know that's, I just have seen great results with that. What dialer and how many lines? Mojo. I use Mojo dialer. I've been using Mojo for 10 years. Hey, Myrene. Hi, you've reached the phone with Myrene. Okay, I'm I almost said hello back. <laughs> I'm using Mojo Dialer, and it's a three-line dialer. I recommend it. I do not make any money from it. Just go get it. It's served me well. Voicemail. The person you're trying to... Okay. What do you recommend? I'm a 19 year old to be successful in commercial real estate. I'm looking to start my own brokerage in the future. My dad is also a commercial broker. Work for your dad. Find the best buyers that he has, people who buy a lot of property, this like who have bought a lot of property, like the most active buyers he has. Like people, I don't care if they've owned 40 properties, but they haven't bought a property in the last two, three years. That doesn't like that's not a good person. Somebody who's bought five or ten properties in the last 12 months, figure out who that is, figure out exactly what their buyer criteria is, and pound the phones like a mad man, mad woman. Right? It's protected by no more to prove you're not a robocaller. Please enter the number 79. 79. We're going to keep it going. Yeah. Let's see if we can get this going. Thank you. Connecting right. your call now. 
did I start with resi wholesaling? No, I started with residential brokering. That was where I got my start. But I've done plenty of wholesale deals. But yeah, so you can work with your dad, find the most active buyer, figure out exactly what they want, pound the phones for that person. You'll get the most success. Can I get some thumbs up for my 29th birthday? Today is my 29th birthday. I got a lot of friends and a lot of family coming into town today. Have reached eight, five, six. By the way, if you have not yet downloaded my free script book, make sure you go in the description down below and check that out. Oh, I appreciate you back. Thank you for asking the great questions. I appreciate that. Can we get to 20 likes? Thank you so much for these likes. I appreciate that. It's like my birthday wish. It's like my birthday wish. Thank you. Hey, Manesh. Please leave your message for eight. Listen, guys, it is my 29th birthday. I'm coming to you live. And I come to you live each and every single Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern time every single Friday. Join me live to co call. Thank you for the birthday wishes, Alex. Thank you so much. Right? I come to you live every Friday. Hello. We are not okay. making cold calls, commercial properties. So I can show you guys that you guys can do the same, right? I come here to answer your questions. I come here to give you mentorship and coaching for free. Yes, for free. You can go in the description down below, download a bunch of free uh, free courses, free downloadables, whatever resources we can provide you. I want to do it. I want to make sure you guys go out there and have a wildly successful career in the commercial real estate world. If you guys ever want more mentorship, Hey, Mick. Hey, Please Mike. Leave your message for if you guys me. ever want more mentorship, coaching, more high level accountability, make sure you go in the description down below and schedule a call with my team. We'd love to support you. Or you can download all the free stuff, check out the free courses. It's all for you guys. That's what we do it for. I love you guys so much, and I want you guys to be successful. That's all I care about. That is all I care about. So, by the way, I have some amazing content coming to you guys soon. I hope you guys check out the last few videos we put out. Amazing, amazing work. My, my, editing, my editing team is doing great. Who here loves the cold calling sessions? Who here likes the cold calling session? Give me a thumbs up in the chat if you love these cold calling sessions. Hey, Mike. Yes. Yeah, hi, Mike. My name is Henry. I was calling you about your building on Kennedy Drive. How are you doing today? I might have I have, uh, might have had the wrong number, so I apologize, my friend. All right, buddy. Thank you. Bye bye. If, should I be doing more of these live sessions? Would you guys like this? If I did more of these live these live streams uh, and more, maybe across more platforms, should I be doing this more frequently? Do you guys like this type of content? Uh, if so, please put it in the chat. Or if not, tell me what kind of content you guys like the most. Did I make it to EXPCon? I did not. I did not make it to EXPCon this year. Next year, I'm going to make it more of a priority. Okay, Alex, I appreciate the feedback. Thank you. I guess I can try to do more of these live streams. Yes, every day. I don't know about, I don't know if I can do every day, but I'll do my best. I can try to I'll try to get to as often as possible. I'll try to get to as often as possible. Uh, I'll talk it over with my marketing team and we'll try to get to uh, an agenda. We'll start with maybe two days a week consistent and maybe we can kick it off from there. Uh, but again, listen, we come to you live, guys, every single Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern. Please make sure you tune in and check out the live stream when it comes to cold calling commercial real estate because I want to show you guys that it's not that hard and you can do the same thing and you can make a lot of money doing it. Because again, I'm sitting here in beautiful Miami, Florida. It is a gorgeous day out today for my birthday. It's a gorgeous day out. I got a lot of people flying in today that I want to spend a lot of time with. So we're going to be uh, we're going to finish up this session at 11 a.m. Eastern, so in about 12 to 15 minutes. We're going to wrap up today's session because I have a lot of things planned that they need to get to. But I was not going to let you down. For those of you who love these live sessions, I'm going to keep doing it. I'm always going to make sure I'm doing it. I don't care where I am. And guys, I want you to know every Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern time, I'm going to come to you live. So as long as I got good Wi-Fi, I'm coming to you live. So always tune in. Always check it out because I promise you I'll be up here making my cold calls. All right. So I apologize for last time. We had some weird connection issues. But... Every I, I I try I do my best you know Wi-Fi I can't control and I pay extra for good Wi-Fi. Right. Thank you for tuning in, guys. We got 17 people on the live stream. I appreciate you so much. Listen, we come to you live every Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern. I'm making cold calls to commercial real estate properties. This is live. This is nothing scripted. This is me cold calling properties um, all over the state of New Jersey and all over the state of Florida. It just depends on the day and how I'm feeling and what I'm targeting. Okay. Um, by the way, by the way, if you have yet to, um, if you guys have yet to, um, where is my link? Sorry, I'm looking for my link. Give me a second. I don't know where it is. There it is. Hold on. There it is. By the way, if you guys have not yet. Hello. Yeah. Hi, Miss Filato. Hello. Yes. 
Yeah, I was looking for Lewis, please. I was calling. My name is Henry Eisenstein, and I was calling about the building on Washington Street in Hamilton. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Great to hear. What about it? The reason for the phone call today is that I was calling you. Um, I, I'm actually I just sold a few properties locally. I'm a local investor in town, and I was looking to move some money for tax purposes. So I was just curious if you'd be totally against selling the property. Yeah, well, he's not interested now. Uh -uh. No, I mean I had a pretty yeah. amazing offer for yeah. him that I wanted no, to talk to not, him about. But if he did, he have like two I minutes know. for me. No, he's not interested. Not not right now. Not right now. Okay. Well, listen. I guess I can okay. call you back in time. I appreciate you very much. All right. Thank okay. you. Okay. You're welcome. Bye-bye. It's actually a pretty looking property. I like it. By the way, if you guys have not yet, if you guys have not yet checked out my my GoFundMe, okay? My GoFundMe in Israel. I have a lot of friends. I have a lot of family. I have a lot of clients with a lot of loved ones out in Israel. Please push out this link, okay? I don't need your money. I just don't, I donated $5,000. I don't need your money at all. I could care less. I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. You can see my donation for five grand there. Uh, I'm trying to raise some money. So if you guys, I don't care if you're donating five bucks. I don't care if you're donating any amount of money, whatever you can donate. I would appreciate it. I'm not asking you. I'm not begging you. I put my money where my mouth is. I want to support those in need. Right. I, um, if you guys can support that, I would appreciate it very much. I don't care if it's five bucks. I don't care if it's a dollar. Okay. The point is, I'm here to support those in need. Okay. Um, check out the, the that is my GoFundMe, by the way. And I have people that are on the ground in Israel that are going to be doing Hello? good things. That. Hey, I'm looking for, is this Miss Lampton? Yes. Hi, my name is Henry. I was calling you about the property that you and Lee have on Water Street. How you doing? On what street? Water Street. I might have the wrong number. Okay. Yeah, you think so. Okay, no worries. Have a great rest of your day. Oh, Thank you. In Gloucester. In where? In Gloucester County. Gloucester County. What state? Yeah, it, it, like I said, I have the wrong number. It's in New Jersey. Sorry about that. Not even close to the right person. Not even close. Anyways, guys, um, I just want to say how much I appreciate you guys. Listen, it's my birthday today, and I'm coming to you live. Like I promised you, every Friday we do, call on commercial real estate properties to show you that you guys can be successful in this industry as well, just with a... Simple uh, software, like a dialer, a good list, and the exact words to say. So I just want to say for a quick minute how much I appreciate you guys. Hey, QE. I just want to say how much I appreciate you guys following the journey here on YouTube. I just appreciate you guys so much. It means the world to me to have you guys in my life. Um, I don't take it lightly. I don't take your time lightly. I don't take your money lightly. I don't take anything lightly, right? I, I am so committed to helping as many people as possible in the commercial real estate world, see success, uh, achieve financial freedom, live a beautiful life. I would love to have that happen for each and every single one of you. That 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 would light me up. Makes me so happy to see people be successful. Uh, means the world to me. We're going to be, uh, this session here again, we come to you live every Friday to make cold calls. For commercial properties and by the way i also come here on friday to coach you and give you thank you elvis for the kind words for the content i appreciate that just wanted to say uh by the way we're doing a meetup we're doing a meetup so by the way it, i would love for you guys to do this uh appreciate that zoom in info at henry eisenstein.com okay i'm putting this in the chat info at henry eisenstein.com if you live in miami or florida yeah, hi. Hi, I'm sorry. I was looking for Ken. I'm sorry, but he's off today. Can I help you with something? Yeah, my name is Henry. I was, I was just talking to him about a few properties he owns. Um, I'll call back next week. Okay, very good. Thank you. Bye-bye. I already know that property. By the way, if you are in Florida, okay, in the Miami area, or if you're in the New Jersey area, Okay, if you're in Miami area or New Jersey, central New Jersey area, we're going to be doing a meetup in Florida later this month. And I would love for you guys to come out. We do these coffee meetups. Okay, I'm not a big drinker at all. I don't really do any of that. Um, so we do coffee meetups. So uh, I'd love for you guys to stop by. Let me shake your hand. Hey, Ken. Please leave your message for six. Uh, I'd love to meet you guys. So email info at henryeisenstein.com saying if you're interested in coming to the Miami meetup or the New Jersey meetup, we'll give you all the details. I assure you, I'd love to shake your hand. I'd love to see you. I'll give you a hug. Say thank you in person. Right. Just say, I want to appreciate my fans. You guys can come out. It's free. 
just want to come out, you know, have you come out, fireside chat, come by, come by my, uh, my local coffee shop. Love to spend some time with you guys. Info at henryeisenstein.com. If you'd love to go to the Miami or the New Jersey meetup, please go do that. Check that out. Again, the GoFundMe there, that is my GoFundMe. I have the people on the ground in Israel who are going to do fantastic things with the money. They're already doing great things with money that I've given already. Uh, I don't need your money. You can see I donated $5,000 of my own money, uh, and I plan on donating a lot more. Uh, I want you guys to just know that like I I don't care if it's a dollar, five dollars, five hundred dollars, five thousand dollars, fifty thousand. I'm I'm the appre I'm appreciative the same um, of anything that you can give. So there's no minimum, and every dollar will go to charity. I promise you, every single dollar. Thank you, Andrew, for all I do. Thank I appreciate you that, Stephen. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you for the kind words. I just want you to let you know. Thank you. It means it means a lot. It really does. Like, listen, guys. I was a. Um... Hey, Judy. Goodbye. Listen, guys. I was I was a depressed and suicidal kid. Okay, I, I was a depressed and suicidal kid growing up, and um, I didn't have a lot of friends. I was very, um, I was very quiet, you know. And uh, you know, I, I now go around talking about mental health. I go around talking about success and mindset, and I live this incredible life in Miami, Florida. I mean, like I, I can't even explain to you what it means to me to have people like you guys in my life. It's the kind words you're saying, thank you. Speech is not available. You know, like to say, you know, from where I've come to where I am today, I just, I, you, like, nobody here would have bet on me back in uh, middle school or high school. Right? Middle school, I would have, you would have never bet on me, ever. Nobody. I wouldn't have bet on me. <laughs> right? I mean, I graduated with a 2.5 GPA or less, I think a 2.3 GPA. Right? Oh, high school, by the way, high school. I never went to college, right? I went to college for like a semester. And then went back for a semester, right? I mean, like, I didn't, I didn't even finish the semester, <laughs> right? I, uh, I don't even think I finished one semester. Maybe I did. I don't remember. I may, maybe I had like nine credits. I don't know. My point is that, like, to to be where I'm at today, uh, well, gave me a message. you know, it just um, to have you guys in my life it means the world. Thank you for the kind words, Stephen. I appreciate you a lot. Yeah, I do ringless voicemail drops as well. We push out about five hundred ringless voicemails a day. On my marketing, Stephen, I want to offer you. Um, I want to offer you a free coaching session. Go in the description down below, schedule a call, um, and in the notes at the very bottom, just say Henry told me to schedule. Or you can email in email us. Actually, that'd be even better. Email my team info at henryeisenstein.com. Henry told me on the live stream schedule a free call. Uh, on on the house free coaching session. Let's connect. Love to chat with you. Thank you for the kind words. It means a lot. Info at HenryEisenstein.com, Stephen. Hey, Joe. Please leave your message for 8-6. So in the next few minutes, uh, again, guys, we come to you live every Friday. Um, we are going to – I've got a lot of birthday wishes on my phone. It just it makes me happy. It makes me happy. We're coming to you live every Friday, by the way. Hey, Joe. Hi, I missed your call. Oh, so many voicemails. We come to you live every Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, today's actually my birthday, so it's going to be a little bit for, shorter of a session. Next week, I promise you, it will be a two-hour live session. So make sure you tune in next week. I appreciate you guys so much. We're going to we're going to be um, keeping going for about another two, three, four minutes or so, a few minutes after the hour, where then we're going to wrap up. Uh, but guys, I just want to say I appreciate you guys. Thank you for following the journey. Tune in next week. For some more cold calling. I'm at 147 dials for today. I got one interesting lead. Guy who wants to sell a 31,000 square foot mixed use building for $3 million. We're going to try to see what happens in the next session. So I'll make sure I record everything so you guys can follow along with the journey. Like I said, today's my birthday. By the way, listen, if you guys want, if you guys want, um, I'm going to be, uh, if you guys are open to it, I'm hosting a private event. I'm hosting a private event. Hello, John. No, I'm sorry, he's not available. Would you like to leave a message? No, I, I have his cell phone number. Thank you so much. So, uh, it's all right. I, I just wanted to talk to you guys. So, um, I'm hosting a private event in uh, November or December. Date has not been solidified yet, but we are going to be. You're going to be on a private boat, private yacht with me. A um, hundred foot yacht. Come, come, hang out with me. 
Come hang out with me. Sorry, my dog is. Zoe, you're going to quiet down. Zoe, come here, Zoe. Anyways, if you guys want to come party with me, it's on a 100-foot boat. It's going to be in November or December. Zoe, can you guys open the door for a second? Let her in. I got my, my cute little dog. Here. Look at this. Little baby. Hold on a second. Give me a second, guys. Give me a second. Just open the door. Close the door. There you go. Cool. All right. Whatever. If you want to come party with me on a boat in November or December. Hello, Harry? Nobody home? All right. No worries. If you guys want to come party with me on a boat in November or December, we're only selling 10 tickets. There's 10 tickets. There's no, no, no one else can join me on the boat. It's going to be 10 people and 10 people only. Email us. Info at HenryEisenstein.com that you'd like to join us on the private boat. Again, 10 people and 10 people only. You will have to fly to Miami. So make sure you keep that in mind. Um, but we are selling private tickets. You're going to spend a, a few days with me. It's not just a boat. You're going to spend a few days with me. If you want to spend a few days with me in Miami, Florida, masterminding, hanging out, I would love for you guys to uh, to uh, reach out to me. Go to info at HenryEisenstein.com. Info at HenryEisenstein.com. Can I, can I pin that? Oh, pin message. Wow. There you go. Info at HenryEisenstein.com. Email us right now if you are open and uh, or, or want to come fly out. The tickets are probably going to be, you got to email us. You got to email us. I mean, like it's, it's just going to be, a, it's probably going to be a two or three day private retreat like event. Uh, we're going to be including a lot of amazing gifts in that, um, in that ticket. So a lot of things will be included, um, but it's probably going to be something like, you know, a $10,000 ticket. You spend the weekend with me. But for some people, we will. Uh, we're going to be, you know, we'll we'll have some uh, pretty cool promotions that are going on. So if you want to join me, it's only ten people only. That's what I'm saying. It's ten people only. Spend a few days with me in Miami, Florida. It's going to include a, a yacht trip. It's going to include some uh, a lot of fireside chats, two dinners, like a bunch of freaking amazing time with me. We're going to mastermind. If you're interested, uh, email us at info at henryeisenstein.com, and I might even give one free ticket out. One free ticket. We're going to do probably 10 people. I'm going to give away once. We'll have 11 people private event uh, in November or December. Come hang out on a boat with me on a yacht, 100-foot yacht. You want to hang out on a 100-foot yacht with me, email at me. Uh, email the team at info at henryeisenstein.com. Like I said, guys, listen, today's my birthday. I'm 29 today. Uh, I'm so appreciative for all the love. Thank you so much. Thank you, Elvis. I'm going to be signing off in just a few minutes. We come to you live every Friday, so tune in next week at 10 a.m. Eastern time. We're going to be pounding the phones for commercial cold calls. I just want to say thank you for being in my life. Thank you for following the journey. It means the world to me. Uh, anyways, guys, I, see, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next week. Take care, everyone.